Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Before we get into your reading Libra, we're going to be looking at the shells. Let's see what spirit has for you guys. I wanted to be going a little bit more in depth for this month only because we have experienced the solar eclipse and July the 4th, we're going to be going into the lunar eclipse. So these are major transitions, major changes in our lives. Every time we have an eclipse, um, particularly uh, what we're experiencing right now, which is having four or five different planets in the sign of Capricorn. So major transformative energy, we have Pluto. Pluto is all about transformation. It's all about um death and rebirth and uh, being able to see life in a very different way uh, we also have jupiter the blessing planet the planet that brings benevolence and um, brings luck we have saturn that is a uh, creates debilitation for jupiter uh, because all of these planets like i said are in the sign of capricorn and saturn is all about karmic energies it's all about karma it's all about reap what you sow it's all about uh, like i said transformative type of energies we see it going or happening right now around the world with you know uh governments issues with government with politics anything that has to do with power um so like i said um we're going to be doing a shell reading before we get into your tarot cards okay libra Let's see what spirit has for you guys for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020. All right, let's see. All righty. Libra, I do want to mention um, it's very important for you guys for this month to keep yourselves very hydrated. I really encourage you guys to drink as much water as possible. For those of you that are already experiencing a bit of discomfort, whether it's in your, whether it's in your, um, uh, your kidney is what they're showing me, whether it's in your kidney, whether it's in uh, just discomfort in general, um, in regards to like the kidneys, in regards to your lungs, um, whether you smoke or you're a drinker, be very careful not to overdo or overindulge for this month of July. And this could even tap into anything that has to do with addictions, any form of addictions. Um, the most simplistic, like, you know, drinking medication um, to the most, you know, dark energy, um, which is out of drugs and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind. And again, um, if you are in fact already uh, dealing with some type of discomfort or issues, like I said, with the kidneys, um, uh, anything, like, or even the liver, they're saying as well, uh, just make sure to detoxify your body, um, get it to uh, pretty much uh, try to purge it from uh, the, you know, the hard work and hard labor that you've put your body. Um, and you can always do this, like I said, with either juicing or cleansing or even fasting for two, three days so that you can be completely detoxifying and purging yourself, um, getting your, your body back 100% or getting it to function the way it's supposed to. Um, but they are saying uh, liver and kidneys as well. So just be mindful of that. Um, and like I said, try not to overindulge uh, for this month of July. And you guys keep in mind when they're saying... Um, basically balance is going to be very important especially because of health concerns this could even implement like overeating um i know a lot of people don't see that as you know a drug obviously or some type of but it is an addiction sometimes especially if we use it as a form of escapism so just be careful with that okay be mindful of your mind body and soul for this month um also, I do want to mention, I do see major movement in regards to your finances. I see you guys either thinking of investing or starting your own business. I also see you guys putting or saving money. Here's the thing. What they're telling you is if you've been on this um, journey of saving money, quote unquote, putting your money aside is not making it's, it's not really helping you. 
so what I mean by that is when we are trying to ac accumulate more abundance, more stability, uh, saving money is not really helping you. If anything, it's actually a detriment to being able to move forward. Um, so again, anything that has to do with investments, really do your research, really basically what they're saying is taking on the energy, trying to, uh, experience, uh, uh, you know, financial stability. It's about putting your money to work for you, not you work for the money. So with that being said, saving money is not really, like I said, it's not really helping you if you're trying to get through this, uh, this path of, of not wanting to go in a circle where you're constantly feeling like there is, um, like there's progress and then there's lack of progress and it's like a tug and pull in regards to financial stability. So what they are saying here is if in fact you have been thinking or you have been wanting to either start your own business or uh, even do side jobs um, as a means to make more money, now is the time to act on it. Stop procrastinating. That's very important. Um, also, I do want to mention for those of you Libras out there that have children, um, you know, be, be, be mindful or be careful, um, have open communication with your children. And I'm talking about children that are not children. <laughs> we like to see them as children, but they're no longer children because I do see an unexpected pregnancy coming up. Now this could be connected to you. If you're not trying to have children, be very careful. Um, your partner may try to put you in a situation where you would impregnate them. Um, if this is you Libra that has the desire to have children, but your partner is not ready or they're not wanting, try the best you can not to put yourself in that, uh, difficult circumstance. And the reason I say difficult is because if you're doing this, um, to help the relationship or thinking that it's going to strengthen it, it's actually going to create more distance between you two. So again, uh, it's very important to maintain integrity and be honest, especially when we're talking about bringing children into the world. Now, if this is not uh, you, Libra, and it is, in fact, an outside source, I do see a child or someone you see as a child, uh, you know, unexpected pregnancy coming up. And I do see them a little bit on panic mode, like they don't know what to do. Um, try the best you can not to be very judgmental, meaning like, you know, you're you got yourself in this situation now you know you're gonna have to step up sometimes rushing into unionship or marriage is not the best thing um and i do see you know i do see this energy rather like they're freaking out so i'm assuming um they're young or they could be just immature um so be mindful of that again like i said try not to uh with your advice try not to kind of uh, make them believe that the best thing they can do for themselves is to get themselves in a serious relationship, especially if this was something that uh, not necessarily was even a relationship, if you catch my drift. So just be careful with that, okay? All right, let's get into your reading. Let's see. Let's see what spirit has for you, Libras. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of July 2020, spirits, what are the messages? What are the messages for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July 2020? Okay, let's see what's going on. All right, Libra, you're starting off with the Ace of Wands. Again, we go back to that of, see, here's the, here's exactly what I was seeing with the shells. What they're saying here, you have the Ace of Wands. Now is the time to take action. Now is the time to move forward. Wow, you have two Aces. Wow. <laughs> okay, you guys see that? Three Aces just in the first cards. So what they're saying is now is not the time to be procrastinating. Now is not the time to be sitting in your ass, Libra, trying to figure out you know, what changes do I need to make? Or should I invest in this? Should I get into that? Uh, should I start my own business? What they're telling you is you have very strong cards, Libra. 
what they're telling you is now is the time to actually stop procrastinating and jump into it uh the ace of wands signifies um you know this new burst of energy ideas um creative outlook inspiration with the ten of wands overthinking over analyzing um you know, sometimes you have those days where you're very inspired and then the next day you kind of lose it or your focus is somewhere else. Um, what they're telling you is listen to your intuition. You're being pulled. You've been wanting to manifest something, whether it's financial stability, whether it's abundance. And what they're telling you is that they're opening the doors for you. Listen to that intuition. You also have here the Queen of Cups may be dealing with a water energy, Cancer, Pisces, um scorpio type of energy you have the ace of cups and the ace of pentacles so very uh, like i said new beginnings we are going through a lunar eclipse that is going to bring or it's going to shed light to a lot of things from uh not just from our past but from our present where we're at right now how is it that we want to, what is it that we want to create in our life, basically, is what they're saying. Now, as you can see here, right at the center, we have the Nine of Wands with the King of Wands and the Chariot card. Stop being so guarded. Stop being methodical in the decisions that you make when it comes to business or when it comes to money. Really, if you feel intense and passionate about something, follow it to its full completion. Only then will you be able to not only see the rewards of money manifesting more abundance or opulence coming towards you, but at the same time, you're going to be able to really stick to what you're doing. For some of you guys, you have a tendency of uh, starting something and then when it gets difficult, you either give up or you just walk away. So you never really get to, you know, see the full manifestation of your labor. And what they're saying here is that, um, if you stick to something, especially because, like I said, we have Saturn in Capricorn. Saturn is all about putting in the work and the effort. But anything you decide to do is going to stick. It's going to be something long term. So now is the time to take and take action and make those decisions, Libra. Now, you also do have the lover's card here with the chariot card. So a lot of a lot of emotions are going on with you guys. Some of you guys may be dealing with an unrequited love, meaning you're waiting or sitting around for someone to make up their mind between choosing you or choosing someone else. And what Spirit is telling you is time is wasting, darling. Uh, for others of you, uh, this could be you. I'm not sure, not you know, certain about choosing between two people. I do see you... Uh, in in this you know foggy type of energy of uh, almost being in love or feeling like you're in love but it's mostly the illusion of someone uh, meaning you're only seeing them as you want to see them not who they really are and this could be a person that could be from a distance for some of you guys for others of you it could just be trying to revisit the past trying to get someone from the past or trying to go back to something from the past where you thought at that point in time, you were happy. And what Spirit is telling you, you can move forward looking backwards. Uh, you can continuously keep living in the past. If you do, nothing greater is going to come. So what I mean by that is if you're constantly thinking that the past was the best that ever happened to you, guess what? That's going to be exactly it. The universe is going to echo back exactly that and make you feel like you're not understood, like they're not seeing you, like they don't understand you. And this is in general with any person that comes towards you. So you got to stop reliving the past, Libra. Let go of the past and move on. Like I said, for those of you guys that are sitting there waiting for someone to return, you do have the moon card here with the five of cups. So if you're sitting there waiting for someone, um, waiting for someone to basically start your life again, what they're telling you is time is wasting. Uh, you're not only going to end up getting hurt, but you're also going to be uh, thrown aback from a surprise. It could be that you find out that that person is actually now in a monogamous relationship or that there is some type of commitment there with the other person, not with you. So again, uh, live your life, Libra. It's time you do that because if you don't, guess what? Other people are not going to pause their life. Uh, just because life is not going good for you or just because things are not, uh, you're not ready to move on, it doesn't mean that other people aren't moving on. So just keep that in mind, all right? 
I'm going to be pulling out a specific card for you guys. Let's see what Spirit wants to directly give you the message. Spirit, what is the direct message you have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What is the direct message? Okay, so we have adjustments are required. Third quarter of the moon. So yeah, it's about stepping back. It's about really understanding or trying to envision where is it that you're at right now, Libra, and where is the, where is it that you want your life to be in the next coming year? Don't let pride get in your way, full moon in Leo. All right? So what they're saying here is sometimes we just don't want to let go of relationships. And sometimes it's not even that we love them. It has a lot to do with maybe your pride was hurt. Maybe your ego was hurt. Maybe people judged that relationship in itself. So it was almost like a feeling of like the world against us and we're going to make it. And then somewhere along the way, they kind of gave up and your pride was hurt. You know, you've invested a lot in this relationship or in this partnership, but it doesn't mean that it's love. It means that perhaps you are in love with the idea of love or the idea of that person, not necessarily who they are. And adjustments are required in order for you to be able to see a different outcome or a different life or a different result. You must approach it from a different perspective. You must do things different in order to get a different result. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, my lovelies. I wish you guys the very best. Stay safe and we'll see each other soon. Happy Lunar Eclipse.